Kia ora team, my name's Ben and today let's compare the pros and cons of the two gold standard measures of strength. The isokinetic dynamometer and one rep max testing. First of all, as a pro for both of them, they're both reliable and valid. As long as we are careful and we standardize our testing procedures. However, there's quite a marked difference in precision. So our isokinetic dynamometer, it's very precise. We can get down to fractions of a decimal point, whereas with our one rep max, we're limited by how small our plates can be as to how accurate we can measure one rep max. So if I improve my strength, but it's not quite enough to jump up to the next plate, then I don't see it measured. A pro for the one rep max is it's very accessible. It's not hard to find somewhere with weightlifting equipment to test the one rep max, whereas a con for the isokinetic dynamometer is it's really expensive and it's not very accessible. Uh, there's very few of them around and mostly they're held by um, very rich sports teams or universities or technical institutes. Our one rep max, it's fast and cheap, whereas the isokinetic dynamometer, it takes a bit more time and it's very expensive. Our one rep max, again, uh, there's less, less expertise required to administer the test and interpret the results, whereas our isokinetic dynamometer, we get more data, but it's harder to interpret and you need more expertise to administer the test and interpret that data. A pro for our isokinetic dynamometer is we can find the peak torque, the angle of peak torque, and the rate of force development. It gives us more scope to look into injury prevention and rehabilitation, whereas our one rep max just gives us our one rep max. There we go. So both very good tests. The gold standard for the lab test is our isokinetic dynamometer. The gold standard for our field test is a one rep max. Both great tests, but they each have their pros and cons. Alright team, happy testing.